be convicted of possessing drugs, you don't have to actually own them as such. You don't even have to be in physical possession of them. If you're exercising dominion and control over them in any way, that's enough. So, for example, if I ask you if I can stash my drugs in your garden shed and you agree, once they come onto your premises, you're in possession of those drugs, even though you don't own them as such and perhaps you've never even seen them. By agreeing to hide them on my behalf and taking them onto your premises for that purpose, you've entered into possession of them. The other side of that coin is, of course, that to exercise dominion and control over something and thereby have possession of it, first of all, you have to have knowledge of it. So if someone leaves drugs at my house or in my car or in my briefcase or handbag or whatever, and I don't know that they're there, then I'm not in possession of them. For example, if I have a flatmate in my house and they hide drugs under the floorboards, I'm not in possession of those drugs unless I actually know they're there and I purport to exercise some dominion and control over them. Now, in Queensland, all that gets a little bit more complicated because if you're an occupier of premises on which drugs are found, you're automatically presumed at law to be in possession of them unless you prove you neither knew nor had reason to suspect they were there. But that's certainly not an impossible task and it's often done in courts. People get into the witness box and tell the court, even though the drugs were on my premises, I had no idea that they were there. So, for example, I once acted for a guy who was found to have a small amount of hashish in the pocket of his coat, which was hanging in his wardrobe when police came to his unit. He told the magistrate he knew nothing of the drug. And then he called evidence to prove that he had recently lent the coat to a friend who wore it to a nightclub in Surface Paradise. The magistrate assessed him as a credible witness and accepted that the drug wasn't his and that he knew nothing about it. So the presumption that arises in those circumstances can be displaced by credible evidence. It all comes down to whether you in fact had knowing possession of the drug. Music